Are cheap Chinese watches good, or are they just trash? By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea as to whether they're worth purchasing or not. Across my two YouTube channels, I've criticised several brands for being nothing more than cheap Chinese garbage, and often rightly so. Many companies these days massively exaggerate the quality of their goods, marketing them as luxury when in fact they are made for, at most, a couple of pounds in Asia. Whilst there is a plethora of these terrible Chinese watches around, I feel like my videos might be giving people the wrong impression. Because as with goods in general, the place that the product is manufactured isn't necessarily indicative of the quality. Even in places like China, products can be created to a high quality. As such, in this video, I'll be reviewing some watches that aren't just the replica watches that I've looked at before. I thought that we'd look at something slightly more original. A Chinese online megastore called GearBest.com have been emailing me on and off for about two years now, essentially trying to get me to promote their brand. Until recently, I've ignored them. The language barrier makes it difficult and frustrating, and a lot of their products aren't really relevant to this channel. Yet recently, I've seen several YouTube videos about watches from this very website, which offer surprising specifications for the money. So I finally dropped them an email back, they've shipped me two watches, let's see what you get for your money. Are some of these Chinese watches a good choice if you just want a low cost fashionable watch? Or are they all just garbage? And to be clear, they haven't paid me any money to say anything good about these. But if you want to buy one of these watches, there is an affiliate link that you can use in the description which helps to support my channel. But if these are crap, I'll tell you they're crap. Both watches combined for a total of about 50 pounds. One for about 20, one for about 30 pounds. And as such, my expectations are low. The first of these is from a brand called Cadison. This watch arrived in this simple box, which is probably better than I expected. If you saw my Daniel Wellington video, you'll remember that one of those watches arrived in a mere plastic bag. This Cadison came with a warranty card, instruction manual, and branded cleaning cloth inside. You'll notice I chose chronographs for each of these models as I wanted to see how they compare to a Vincero for a potential future video. This is what I would describe as a typical generic chronograph design. I've seen this exact design offered by a multitude of different fashion watch brands who are undoubtedly drop shipping from China. A good example is a watch from Paul Rich, which I looked at in 2017 but no longer have in my possession. You can see outside of the color, this watch looks completely identical. Every part of the case and dial is the same down to the hour markers and hands. But is the quality any good? That that Paul Rich watch retails for around £150, whereas this Cadison retails for £20. Surely they're going to vary massively, right? Wrong. Whilst paper specifications aren't everything, a quick look paints the picture quite well. The Cadison has many of the specifications that you would expect to see on one of these low-cost fashion watches. Genuine leather strap, stainless steel case, mineral glass, a cheap quartz movement, and 30 meters of water resistance. I'm sure you've heard those very words in many reviews before. This one does have some of the hallmarks of cheap Chinese watches. The strap feels low quality and the watch contains a cheap movement from Hong Kong from a brand called Sunon, which has a loud tick. Outside of that though, as the specifications suggest, this watch is virtually identical to the Paul Rich. And for 20 pounds, I'd say the quality's not bad. It's highly likely that Paul Rich have their watches made in the exact same factory, with their own logo stamped on and a slightly different movement slapped inside. This watch isn't a fake replica or copy of that Paul Rich design. It's likely that that brand is just drop shipping. This is no luxury watch, so I'd much rather spend 20 pounds on this one than 150 on that Paul Rich. Realistically, onlookers wouldn't be able to tell the difference. The Cadison looks fashionable, albeit is too large for my wrist. The case looks and feels far better than the price tag indicates, and it tells the time. For £20, you can't expect much more. These specifications are better than similarly priced watches from brands like Casio. If this watch was over £60, I wouldn't recommend it, but for £20, you can't really go wrong. That being said, I've had an interesting time with this second watch from a brand called Guanchin. This one perfectly sums up why you should watch review videos just like this one before you buy these watches directly from China. I generally find that many written reviews are too easily manipulated by brands to be trustworthy. Either way, online this watch boasted specs like sapphire crystal glass, and a Japanese quartz movement for a price tag of around 30 Great British Pounds. As featured on other YouTube channels, some other Guanchin models do have such features, so I kind of expected them here. The watch arrived in similar packaging to the Cadison with several bits and bobs inside the box. Again, when you consider the cost of this piece, that's nice. Upon first impressions, the watch looks and feels pretty great, with a surprising amount of weight to it. 
This watch retails for about £10 more than the Cadison and you do see some slight improvements. You'll notice that this one features domed glass and I'd say a more premium looking dial when compared to the other watch. I personally like the applied logo and I think the overall design is far less generic. You do see that Cadison design quite frequently from different brands, whereas this exact one, I can't say I've really seen it before. I think it looks a tad more premium. Nevertheless, the laughable Swiss made writing on the dial indicates where my issues lie with this watch. While some of the specifications, such as the stainless steel case and genuine leather strap are present and remain good value at £30, others are straight up incorrect. Firstly, my diamond selector tool identified that the sapphire glass is disappointingly, not sapphire. I anticipate that this is in fact mineral crystal, meaning it's not going to perform as well as first thought. Additionally, after a battle to snap the back off this watch, I discovered that the Japanese movement is also not present. In its place is a similar movement to that found in the Cadison from the same Hong Kong based company. Furthermore, I'd be extremely surprised if this snapback case actually offered the advertised 100 meters of water resistance. The standard 30 meters is probably more realistic for this one. Also, I wouldn't recommend checking for yourself, as even with a watch clamp and a ton of pressure, I now can't get the case back to click back in place. While such specifications are hardly expected in a watch of this price, it's still annoying to be lied to. With Chinese stores, it's understandable that some details may be lost in translation. But to be honest, I don't think that's the case here with this listing. It's an okay watch that probably looks better than £30, but it's just not as good as what I was hoping for. Realistically, when we judge these watches though, we need to consider their place in the market and what we're comparing them against. Most watches like this aren't here to compete against the likes of Seiko or Orient. These are fashion watches. This is an area of the market currently dominated by many brands who simply take watches like these, get the logo stamped on them and then advertise them as affordable luxury, whilst increasing the price by a thousand percent. At least with websites like Gearbest and AliExpress, you're getting closer to that true direct-to-consumer model. These brands are based in China and they're saving a lot of costs. So are these good or garbage? The watches I've looked at today are far from luxury goods, but they are a good example of the value you can get without spending much cash. You could do a heck of a lot worse while spending much more. I'll try and get my hands on some higher quality Chinese made watches in the future so I can answer that question a bit more roundly. I wanna see what some more respected brands have got to offer in comparison. But for super cheap watches though, I'd certainly recommend considering buying directly from China. I just recommend to do your research beforehand to ensure that when you receive the product, it's gonna match the listing online. For instance, with this video, the first one does match the specs, the second one doesn't. If you like watches, consider subscribing to my new channel called Ben's Watch Club, where I look at the best affordable watches for men. There's links in the description, iCard, and on the end screen. If you like watches, come and join me over there. And on that note, I'll see you on the next one, boys.